1960, a new decade. New hopes, new horizons in a changing world. The United Nations set out the challenge to make the world a better place in the years ahead. It adopted unanimously the Milestone Declaration on the granting of independence to colonial countries and peoples. Another landmark event that marked the beginning of real progress for millions of the world's poor occurred in that year too. The creation of OPEC, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries. At the time, this was lost among the headlines, but this soon changed and the world took notice. The first move towards the establishment of OPEC took place in 1949, when Venezuela suggested to Iran, Iraq, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia that they exchange views and explore avenues for regular and closer communications. The need for closer cooperation became more apparent in 1959, when the powerful international oil companies unilaterally reduced the posted price for a barrel of crude oil on world markets. This price was a notional rate set by the companies and used as a reference for their payments of income tax and royalties to the governments of host countries. For the companies known as the Seven Sisters, this helped preserve profits. They largely controlled all aspects of the business outside the former Soviet Union. Exploration, production, exports, processing, marketing, and most importantly, prices. But for the host governments, the effect was simple. It reduced their income. As a result, in 1959, the first Arab Petroleum Congress was held in Cairo with both Iran and Venezuela invited as observers. This adopted a resolution calling on oil companies to consult with the governments of the producing countries before taking any decision on oil prices. It also set up the general agreement on the establishment of an oil consultation commission. In August 1960, the oil companies reduced further the posted price. In response, in September 1960, a conference was held in Baghdad, and this is where OPEC history begins. The conference was attended by representatives of the governments of the five founding members. Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. The treaty establishing OPEC was registered at the United Nations Secretariat in November 1962. With time, its membership increased. The second conference decided to base the OPEC Secretariat in Geneva, Switzerland, where the first meeting of the OPEC Board of Governors convened in May 1961. In April 1965, the OPEC conference decided to move its headquarters to Vienna, Austria, and a host agreement was signed shortly after with the Austrian government. In March 1977, OPEC moved along the Danube Canal. In November 2009, into the present Secretariat premises in the Vienna 1st District. OPEC is a permanent intergovernmental organization with the following objectives. To coordinate and unify the petroleum policies of member countries and determine the best means for safeguarding their interests, individually and collectively. 
to find ways and means of ensuring oil market stability. To give due regard at all times to the interests of the producing nations and to the need to secure a steady income for them, an efficient economic and regular supply of petroleum to consuming nations, and a fair return on their capital to those investing in the petroleum industry. In June 1968, the organization adopted a declaratory statement of petroleum policy in member countries. The statement called on member countries to undertake as far as feasible direct exploration and development of hydrocarbon resources, to seek participation in the equity of existing concessions, to establish conservation rules to be followed by operating oil companies, and to determine posted or tax reference prices by the government. This move was endorsed by the United Nations a year later when the General Assembly voted unanimously for a declaration of social progress in which permanent sovereignty of national resources was a major principle. The first summit of OPEC's heads of state and government took place in Algiers in 1975. The summit declaration sought to strengthen the relationship between producer and consumer nations. It directed that OPEC should seek oil market stability based on justice, mutual understanding and a genuine concern for the well-being of all peoples. The second summit was held in Caracas in the year 2000. There, the organization reaffirmed its commitment to achieve sustainable order and stability in the international oil market, with reasonable prices and fair returns to investors. Riyadh hosted the third summit in November 2007. The OPEC heads of state agreed that the key to ensuring sustainable development are three mutually supportive pillars. Stability of the global energy markets. energy for sustainable development, energy and environment. As the world changes on all fronts, so must petroleum-related strategies. One good strategy to address these challenges is through cooperation and dialogue among OPEC member countries, petroleum producers in general, between producers and consumers and between OPEC and other organizations such as International Energy Forum, International Energy Agency and the World Bank. With 100% of its membership from developing countries, OPEC is in a unique position to appreciate and understand the problems and challenges of development. It is this empathy that informed the founding of the OPEC Fund for International Development, OFED, in 1976 with the mandate to foster social and economic progress in the developing world. So far, citizens of over 120 countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Caribbean, the Middle East and Europe have benefited from OFED's development and grant programs. Collectively, OPEC member countries, through their various bilateral and multilateral aid institutions, have given assistance worth over $100 billion to developing countries. The organization has continued to flourish and expand in recent years. To reach 14 members in 2019, proving again its value is recognized both in the energy industry 
and in the wider community. Under the leadership of current Secretary General, Mohamed Sanusi Barkindo, the organization has begun a new chapter in the history of the oil industry. The signing of the Declaration of Cooperation between OPEC and non-OPEC participating countries in December of 2016. The Declaration of Cooperation is an unprecedented cooperation between 24 OPEC and non-OPEC oil producing countries to counter the damaging effects of a massive market downturn which started in mid-2014. Its impact was dramatic and immediate. Dedicated adherence to voluntary production adjustments have helped to bring the industry out of some of its darkest days in history and turned pessimism into optimism. To date, participants have gone above and beyond the call of duty. The Declaration of Cooperation has achieved unparalleled conformity in 2017 and 2018. Partners today are committed to achieving an overall voluntary adjustment of 1.2 million barrels per day from January 2019 until mid-2019. Once again, OPEC accomplished what was never before thought possible. The Declaration of Cooperation recently completed its second year and has become a regular part of the industry landscape, something producers, consumers, investors and the global economy rely on. Another great accomplishment took place in June 2018 when OPEC hosted the 7th OPEC International Seminar at the spectacular Hofburg in Vienna. Dialogue and stability were catchwords at the two-day event, which brought together more than 950 participants from over 50 nations, including the world's top energy industry leaders. From the initial five founder members, today OPEC has grown to include 14 sovereign nations on three continents. Together, these countries hold 80% of the world's proven oil reserves, provide 42% of global crude oil production. Forever vigilant, OPEC will be there, providing the petroleum upon which modern development relies, stabilizing the oil market, combating poverty, and promoting worldwide economic prosperity while protecting the planet that nurtures all the nations of the world. In its nearly six decades of existence, OPEC has helped to create a new world. Whatever the doubts about the future, the certainty is that OPEC will continue to be part of the progress. For the sake of generations to follow, OPEC will be there as an important instrument of change.